So here we have um, the buffer tank. It's very windy, that's why I'm not um, stood out here. I'll show you when it stands up. I'll get back around this corner. So when the tanker driver comes to empty the milk from this, he empties it, it gets washed out and cleaned. And in the meantime, because they're robots and they're milking all the time, not like a parlor, a conventional parlor, you milk your cows and it stops. So you're fine. But because they're robots and they're milking all the time, the milk needs to go somewhere. So when this is being dealt with, the milk goes into this here. Can you grab it? Or would you like to hold it and do it lying down? Carry it in lying down then. Ah, oh, right, okay. But it's not going to fall over, is it? So, you know, we talk about needs and wants. We thought, I'm having, I'm having to hide behind this because it's that windy. We thought that having those doors there with gates on them was a want. It's not. I will tell you, it is a need. The, it absolutely, are you ready? Oh, this is my dad and he's doing like look when you're not in front of them doors how not windy it is we'll put in the roof well the ceiling in this and all that's going on top of these is two ibc's one ibc, one one IBC. IBC and a there you go one ibc and a compressor dad knows more about this than i do um yeah so the woods over here is slightly thicker because this is where the robot control room should we call it is here in the corner and above it the ibc of chemical sits so these are slightly thicker and then for all the rest of this we've got slightly thinner ones just to save cost really and there's, there's just no need is there so this is a tiny bank of cubicles as you can see um we will obviously for <laughs> this tiny little bit here do the mattresses first and then put the cubicles on. But yeah, shuttering can go to bonfire now because we will not need to reuse it. This was reused from over there. We will not need it now. We can dispose of that. Absolutely wonderful. Um, we have been talking about a uh, feed star system and even if that doesn't come for another couple of weeks, we can just feed down one side for now. It is very much on a needs must kind of basis to get the cows here on time so those panels all go in here the only thing is there's quite a lot of concrete in can you see where the channel is i think there's going to be a lot to plane off the bottom of the panels to make them sit flush i went to tom's the other day i don't know when it was the other day and his cubicles were the other choice and I don't know whether it's because ours are smaller and they are, uh, they're they not as long as his are, but they're just not as bendy, which gives me a little bit more confidence in them to know that they're not just going to get, you know, completely abused by these animals. But yeah, I don't know whether that's because ours are actually smaller depth-wise and they're also a lot smaller length-wise as well, but there's not as much flex in them. So with these, I was asking her, this metal runs to here and then this bit's just plastic tube but actually they form all this here's metal as well inside there with plastic on the outside so it is fairly fairly strengthy you know what i mean you can see in the end there so yeah while they are flexi cubicles to a certain extent they are actually like metal coated ones really and the only bit that doesn't have the tubing is from like there to there which is handy to know the way to go on top of 
there and also to uh, go on the floor of the office um, so that we can obviously it's been hold on I'll show you my door you see it's been clad but as you can see there's nothing above it now if anyone were to walk on there it would be a complete disaster so we're going to board it from above um, even if that's not the final floor, we'll put something else on top of it, but we're going to board it from above just so it's safe and no one goes through and ruins this. The sheets that are on the way are coming from TG Norman and they're very, very, very kindly organised by CBR Electrics. Um, sterling service honestly they have come same day, absolutely brilliant and can't thank them enough, wonderful. away from Glasgow in a day. That's good service. Oh, chilly, honestly. Um, I'm just moving this. Yeah, it looks like chipboard to me, but it's called smart something board. Um, it is to go on all of the ceilings and floors, but yeah, it can't get wet and it's just started spitting, so I'm shifting it quick. So Rose just sorting out everything that's in the shed that shouldn't be in the shed, like um, that kind of stuff, you know, off cuts, just bits of board lying around, loads of bearers everywhere, but we want to burn all the bearers and got in trouble because we found that they're actually really handy. I don't know if he's coming out of the shed or if I'm meant to be going in it, but I'll just wait so there's no collisions. Um, I'm masticking, masticking the sheds. Uh, bloody hell. I am masticking the little rooms that go around the robots. Uh, awful job, I hate this stuff. I've got gloves on, but it's not quite leaving the need to finish that. Thought it would, which is kind of annoying. in my robot rooms and it's not going very well like it's really not very neat is it i don't really know how to use this stuff look at the state of it it didn't matter when it was underground but now it's like not to be seen i'm a bit like so i'm like putting a tiny a tiny nibble on and hopefully it will just my dad's here my dad's doing that because he's free love free stuff Dad's gone to let some, he's got an Airbnb and they've gone to let some Airbnbs in. Like, and he's left three ready. I'm thinking. Like, I'm just thinking. How, how, how hard can it be? Finally a video something because the wind has died down enough to be able to show you that the lads came today Absolute legends Friday afternoon turned up with a cement mixer to block the wall I mean honest to God the dedication of these people that are helping us out is just unreal So you can see the tanks in there me and Roy have put that um, I don't even know what, what was it called I said it before but I can't remember what it's called now That like the spare tank. Hold on, let me remember. Buffer tank. That's what it's called. <laughs> me and Roy put the buffer tank in there. That thing in the green thing there. Um, and then the lads have come and they started blocking. So that is to go all the way up there. That there is the office, or will be at some point. So we need to somehow source a big window. Um, second hand, because we've no money. Um, if anyone knows of any huge windows that can, you know preferably in a skip waiting to be salvaged that would be just all right um whilst we're on this the just giving is still up for peter's raising money for older hay um for the cardiac unit if you would like to donate please don't forget to do so it would be much appreciated link is below poorly children you can't say no you can't say no it's not allowed tomorrow Smart ply, smart ply. Um, some of that needs to go on top of here where dad has. I'll video a bit of this tomorrow for you. It'll probably be after this. 
in the video, but yeah, I'll, he's done this today. Absolutely immense effort. And I have been master hicking, just sealing up gaps and stuff because it's got to be uh, done before the robots go in on Monday. So yeah, we're way ahead. That over there needs also needs a roof here. That needs a roof. It'll be covered over and that needs a roof. Nothing will be on top of there apart from, sorry, look at my absolutely filthy hands. Nothing will be on top of here apart from uh, wires and such like that needs to take it. Sorry, I'm so tired. Um, that needs taking from the robots. And same goes for here. So these will be, by the time the robots get in front of them, they will be sort of enclosed rooms. And we will use them interconnecting doors just to stay out of the front of the robots, obviously. You want to avoid walking through SH1T as much as possible. And that's what they'll be used for. Um, the back of house is looking at snazzy. <laughs> snazzy. Really snazzy. You need to get them cubicles and mattresses down. Um, is that cracking? There? There's a crack in this panel on the other side. And I said to Dad, I can't believe it's cracked. Where about? No, it's not. There isn't one on this side. Where is there? No, I don't think there is on this side. I just thought I could see something down there, but no. It must just be like a hairline crack on the other side. It must just be on the surface. And I couldn't believe that it had a crack in it, especially when there's concrete on both sides. But yeah, is what it is. Here will be AI stalls. Lovely. And then we'll have a foot crush over against that wall. Um, so we'll be able to do feet, etc. So yeah. It's all a little bit go, go, go. Very, very exciting. We are actually getting there. I mean, look at it. We've got water. We've got beds. Um, I need to get the sweeper in. Roy is currently moving everything that does not need to be here. Doesn't need to be here. But what would you do? This is one of our debates, our mass debates. Um, sorry, I'm doing grow up, do I? Family channel. For those of you who are slightly worried that these were too high, now can you see how much higher it's actually higher than that. Um, it is... Oh, you can't see. It's a lot higher on the outside. Um, <laughs> good morning, children. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what's the crack, baby? Hey, what's the matter? Come on with me. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not got a clue. Come on. Hey, what's the crack? Are you just cold? Are you just cold and hungry? Hey, what number are you? Six. What number is that one that died the other day? Come on, let's go. Let's do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I've warmed it up. See how it gets on. Got a bit of a random box to show you. This here is, you know, the big shed roof. These are the nails that came with it. I was watching Tom Lamb's video last night. He was putting shed up um, and basically these are to put in by hand. And our builder said what you would spend in labor putting these in, he tech screwed it in and obviously used a gun. The, there was not a lot of price difference 
in buying like a whole new thing of tech screws to put in and using them. So we now have a pallet full of um, a roof. Uh, it is 150 foot long and 100 foot wide if anyone is looking for a lot of those. But it's funny watching somebody else's video and you realise they've done the same thing for the same reason. So on last night's video, I showed um, a lamb being brought in from the field, I think. And somebody said, if you've got all that shed space, why are you turning the sheep out to die, essentially? Um, I'm not. Exhibit A. The end shed that was full of triplets is now full of little lambs. And yeah, I'm the, the youngest ones that have just come out of pens when I needed the room. And instead of turning them out, I've been turning them into here. Is it me or does that look hungry? Anyone else? Like hell, I am losing a lamb like that. It does look hungry. Look at the way it's stood. Just gonna top it up. Go and get some milk. Yeah, seriously, look at how it's, can you see how it's stood? It's just not a happy lammy. Um, I'm just gonna sort it out and then bring it back. I'm not taking it off her. I'm just gonna top it up. And it's a little girl as well. I've just found its mother. Is that not also looking a little bit hungry? I'm just gonna grab her and turn her over and have a look if she's got any milk. Let's have a watch of this. Did you see her run away then? Let's not have this. Right, you can just stay there for a minute. Stay there for a minute. Is that your alarm? Yeah, she's not letting it on. The only thing with these dark animals is you can't tell the numbers that are on the side of them. I'm really cross, I can't see the number. She's got mastitis. I don't know if there's anything I can show you really. Um, can you see how it's slightly lumpy? It's hard. Nothing's coming out. This side's fine. Um, I'll have to put a tag in there. And take the lambs. So they all have black and white lambs. So we're looking for 96. So this is why, if she was outside, there. That is not an empty lamb. That is not an empty lamb at all. Keep an eye on that lamb and take this lamb. She can't rear two, she's only got one tit. Um, and I'm not losing this. It's not her fault and she's not happy like. You listen to me, you lot. I want no difference to be made of this little lamb. We're not like that round here. Have a friend. He's slightly different. Golden beard. Hello. <laughs> Don't drop that on me. <laughs> He's gonna drop it on me. Oh, great! Thanks. That's terrible. Oh, it's very unsafe. This. Oh. Oh. So tomorrow we are moving the robots into the shed and putting them in place. So watch this space for that video. It's gonna be pretty uh, scary for us because it is millimeter, millimeters uh, either side out of the shed by the time the pallets are on them things. 
scary stuff. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you made it to the end, you deserve a medal. Lovely long time and I'll see you next time.